Hello guys, once again welcome back to another Android app development tutorial. In this video, here I am going to show you how to create a floating context menu in your Android app. So we can start with a new Android Studio project. So now the project is created. So first here I am going to create a new menu resource file. I name it as context menu. Okay, now we can add the menu items. So here we have five menu items. I copy these items. Now place it inside the menu file. So here we have five menu items and each item contain two attributes, ID and title. Now I can for this menu items. Okay. So now we can set up the layout for the application. So first here I am going to modify the root element of this layout. So here I am going to display some snack bar. So we need some coordinator layout as the root element and specify an ID for it. Here I name it as root to view. Now for display the floating context menu. Here I specify a relative layout, now specify a button. Now specify text on it. Display floating context menu. Now specify an ID for it. Okay, now align this button at the center of the parent. Okay, so when user click the make a long press on this button, we are going to display the floating context menu. So now we can initialize the button. So create a variable for button. Now initialize that variable. Okay, so now for display the float floating context menu, we have to register the button for context menu so call the method register for context menu and pass the view variable now you need to override method called on create context menu from this method we have to inflate the menu so first create an object of menu inflator now inflate the menu so call the inflate method and pass the menu okay so now we can test it so here i start some virtual device now run the project Okay, now the project available on this virtual device. <clears throat> so if I make a long press on this button, here the floating context menu appear. Now I'm going to show you how to handle the click events of this menu items. So for handle the click events of the menu items here, you need to override one more method called the on context item selector. So here I'm going to use a switch case statement to identify which menu item is selected by the user. Now specify each case. So for display message to the user, create a separate method called the display message. And this method need one parameter. So now here I'm going to display a message using snack bar. So I add the design support library for using snack bar. Now sync project. Now the project sync finishes successfully. Now we can display the snack bar. Find the root to, root to view. Now display message and finally call the show method. Okay, now we can handle each case statement if it is add playlist. So here I add all the needed case statement. From each case we call the display message and return true from each method. Now we have to handle the default method. So from default method, uh, we can call the superclass implementation of this method. This will pass the events to the subsequent fragments or activity. Now we can test the project. So run it. Okay, now here I make a long click. Now I select one item. So here the click events handle successfully. So this is how we display a floating context menu in Android.
for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe now